Wicked, 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 wicked. Wicked tones, you know. <laughs> Uh, so today is going to be a uh, fly extravaganza. I'm going to do another chest video. Just fucking so much better than the other chest videos. <laughs> Look, what else can we do? So a lot of people have, well, first of all, a lot of people have this kind of setup. They don't, this prime setup is the heaviest fucking cable fly in life. It's like it's on 30 fucking pounds and it feels like 105. But anyway, it has like, you can articulate this, you can bring it in and out, find a range that you feel good. There's three variations, like this is like something I would do for a warm up, or you could do it fucking whenever, to be honest. I do it for a warm up because my shoulders are fucked. So I just find a spot where I feel tension and my hips back. I don't want to be behind cables because I have no, it's, there's no contraction. I'm just pushing something in. So I walk out till I find, feel contraction on my palm and then I pull elbows in. So I can rock in here and press in. So I can just hand press right across in a tight range. Rock into mid pec and lower pec here. Then when I get more warmed up, I can open up and I can fly out wide. So I'm just doing the same press I was doing here. Just now my hands are wider. So I'm scooping up whole pec, firing. So I can rock through, rock my hip back, rock my chest up. Let's always have this hip tucked. Don't be in line. So I'm rocking through things up. When I can't get any more there, I can put hands down at side and sweep through. So I can tuck hip way back, drive hands way out to the front, or I can stand up taller and just scoop back. But there's no tension here. If my hand lets go of this, I'm still here. So if they both fly out of my hand, I'm right here. My weight's here. It's not being dictated by the cable. So I'm keeping my weight where I want it. I'm using the cable as tension to fly through. There's a lot of guys you see will take off, whether they're doing flies here or presses in midair, whatever you want to do. And they're fighting this resistance all the time because they're so tense up here that they're, they're literally like pushing this thing. So if anyone knocked this out of their hand, they go flying this way because they don't know how to balance themselves and like transfer weight. They don't know how to keep weight here and just have weight on hands. So I'm locked into my mid back Cross my mid back, shoulders down, sweeping through lats. So anywhere I go, even if my elbow's up or my elbow's in here, I'm just keeping locked on lat, moving through lat. When I lock down here, I'm in lat again. So my elbow's pushing into my lat, I'm just sweeping, sweeping. I'm just shoveling, literally sliding that hand forward. That's all I'm doing. It's no like scooping or fucking turning. The angle of the hand stays the same no matter what angle we pick. So, you can do the same thing with a press. If you want to do impress in midair. Presses in midair like this, if people do them, make people understand how to press properly because I can't, I can't over press here. If I try and stay where I am and press this away, I have no balance. It looks awkward as shit too. And you'll see people doing it. But if I lock down here and then I, when I go to push, I rock back. So I move away from my handle and I rock through, I'm only gonna press to where I can press, where I'm counterbalanced through the rock back. So I'm here and I'm rocking through. You can take different angles, you can be here, rock up through, doesn't matter. So just everyone, not everyone, it's more ideal to do on a tighter tower that's probably like stagnant here, just to pull comes off here and we can take down here and be real tight like on the other side but more often than not gyms have like that life motion I think it's called life motion they have like the articulating bottom the handles a lot of gyms have that a lot of gyms have wider cable setups like we normally like you normally see on a cable stack where they're like nine feet apart eight feet apart you can drag here and you can still do it, it doesn't have to be on a setup like this this is basically Close to the same width, that would be the start if we did it in a wide, wide angle setup, right? But just understand that it's palm. So I can walk out no matter what my width is, even if this one's here and this one's way the fuck over here and I grab it, I can pin it in and put it on my palm where I want it. Doesn't matter whether it came from way out here, I pull it into where I want it and I sweep in. So this is literally just caving pecs in, trying to push biceps and lats through hands. Here. So I'm just flexing in the mid pec, 
hand pressure. Then I relax up wide again, throw. This is more driving up through, throwing shoulders back, still palm grabbing. I'll never hit. And then when I'm here, I set down in and I just sweep. So I can lift up a bit through if I want, or I can just drive straight through. Squeeze, just hand pressure right through. So, something to try, easy stuff. Earth shattering chest material. We're talking about these different, basically this is gonna be like different fly angles. I'm gonna show you after something on the fly, peck fly over there. But this is just mimicking like, this is directly correlated to like hitting a most muscular on stage, right? So if a guy, if you understand that your hands are with sweeping and grabbing things, so even if I'm on stage, if this is me on stage, and I'm like hit most muscular and they hit here and then they, they hit most musculars here. That's the same thing as me dragging this cable through. Understanding that I'm grabbing through lats and shoulders and tossing up through, right? Or whether I want to come around like Jay Cutler style where he kind of came over and made like kind of that hooping look. It's the same thing you're doing here. So we're, we're working out in the pose in the sense that if I did most muscular here and I went here and I came most muscular, it's here. That's all it is. I'm just rocking through ranges. But if I hit the shot, it's here. And if I hit the shot here, if I want to stand up taller and I want to go here, then I'm here. So we're rocking and we're hitting motions that are going to correlate to on stage too, right? So guys who have a trouble, a lot of guys have trouble, have trouble hitting, like setting shots because they don't understand the movement to begin with. So they're trying to figure out where to hold tension. Next thing you know, their neck's jacked up and they're, they look like they're going to fucking explode. But they don't understand, it's just like, grab the tension through the body and flex through and everything will erupt as you hit it right it's like when i hold the cables out wide here there's not much going on i'm not like in some tense like good flex mode but as i move through the tension arms shoulders chest grab to lock me here i don't want to end up touching on these because i'm trying to maintain tension so i'm just rocking but i get used to that feeling of my chest rising up through things rising lifting lifting if that's all shots are is scooping even if i hit most musculars with my hands here i'm still pulling i'm still pulling hands up and grabbing my shoulders in and squeezing right so it's still hand grab pressure on my hands squeezing here so anything you want to do most muscular wise is going to mimic cable flies why wouldn't it that's what your sport is posing all right guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. Uh, don't forget to comment. Fuck off. And so we're trying to do different variations of flies. So I'm trying to hit like more upper. I'm trying to get up into like my throat area, like upper pec, wherever you guys want to call that. I don't give a fuck. That's what I'm calling it. So it's easier to understand. <laughs> so basically, most people would set this down lower. I, even I do it when I teach it and I'm coming around under. So I'm swooping under and picking chest up. So we're getting more outer and lower mid pec. This is, I want to be up higher. So I purposely put the seat too high so that I feel like I'm above my hands. So I'm literally like opened wide and I'm setting where I can settle. I'm just rocking through. So I'm still coming down, but I'm coming around more. So I'm getting up into here more. I'm squeezing across my shoulders, flexing my palms. So am I trying to bring my delts in together, but palms driving them down as opposed to this scooping under feeling, which a lot of people do they roll up through things we're just trying to press now so i'm just trying to take those hands and press just like we did on the cable over there this hand position doesn't change we just rock through that hand position so i don't come here and i go with my hands or try and grip in it's just hands hands that's all i'm doing so to anyone watching they look like you're gripping it looks like i'm gripping this and squeezing it in here this isn't it if my hands in on the way down i'm wrong i want to be here so I want to be able to be flat on palm and flat pressure through. So even if I rock back and then I rock down through it a bit just to get motion, so I'm letting it take me back and I'm throwing arms through, keeping rib cage high and coming around the top of the pec. The higher I keep my rib cage, the more I'm going to be able to elevate my sternum. If I'm flat at the bottom, so if I don't elevate and I don't get in this postured position, almost like front relaxed looking where I'm like, elevated and then i start throwing and keep that posture the whole time if i start to lose that i start doing this and i start like hitting it but i'm rolling over it's hard to keep this position and throw especially as the weight's moving 
but the more you can keep this elevated position and sternum position on stage, it's front relax. So if you can do it in your lifts, you're conditioning yourself for your pose, right? That's why we're here again. This isn't fucking powerlifting. It's not a strongman competition. We're, you have to be in the shot, in the movement, right? Think about the shots and the movement. Because the movement of the shot, the movement of the exercise will help with the shot, right? So if I know how to keep this sternum, even if I get tired on stage, they call you guys out for rounds and rounds and rounds, right? They keep calling you up. Front relax. You see these guys after a while, they're like, and then they turn and they're like, like this, it's like, you don't have to do that, man. If you can keep this posture the whole time, not this, this, I'm good. Even when I'm lazy, I look like I'm, I'm paying attention. I'm not doing this and going, and then going. It's like, no, just stand like this. All you have to do then is open lat. They tell you to turn, stay up tall again, turn. My sternum never leaves. This elevation never stays. I don't have to worry about my gut blowing out because I'm elevated here. Where's my gut? If I lose this, I lose this. So everything collapses. So I just breathe shallower. Keep my sternum up. Stand here. Turn to the side. You can relax at the back. No one can see your gut anyway. My gut. And that's for guys and girls. Guys and girls. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like figure. Yeah. The easiest fucking, the easiest category. Not in terms of like how you're training, how you look, blah, blah. You do four poses. You do two, actually. The one to the front, Looks like the one to the back more open. The side one is whatever this is, this shit is. I don't know what the fuck that is. But it's like you're literally doing like two poses total yeah. in different directions. So if you can't, if you're a figure girl and you can do this, you don't have to worry about where your arms go. If I can, if I can elevate my ribs and put my lats out, I stand whatever the hell you guys do with your arms to do this, I don't know. But you stand here, whatever you want. It's just elevation, keeping this the whole way through. Keeping this the whole way through. If you, break, if you break bodybuilding down into the simplest terms, it's intelligence, right? Because you're understanding like, I can do this a lot easier. If I break this down into like one or two key things I have to do in each thing, the whole thing becomes easier. So if I remember, as soon as I walk out on stage, I'm sternum up, I'm walking. Anytime I'm on stage, my sternum's up and I'm, I'm in posture all the time. So I can't look lazy. When I hit shots, I lift up even more. You know what I mean? You can relax but when you're gonna hit a shot, you can set back do whatever you do and roll up. But when you're on stage, relax. It's just here. It's like I'm pushing out my finger all the time, even though I look relaxed. I don't stand like this. I stand like that. This is me relaxed. They don't mean that on stage. They don't want you on stage like, or in the back, you're... Guys standing at the side of the stage fucking... Because they don't know they're gonna, they think they're not gonna win or they're, they're out of it. It's like, just stand there and look presentable, man. There's still pictures being taken of you. You know what I mean? You still have to represent yourself well. Judges notice that shit. Everyone notices that shit. If you're lazy on stage, your fucking posing sucks. You didn't try posing, man. I was one of them. I didn't listen when I was told to pose. Like I, was, I understood how to keep posture the whole time and like stay in a, in a ready position. But I was just like a lot of these guys, I, I, didn't, I downplayed posing. Really? Yeah, I was just like, fuck this shit. I just want to lift weights. That's why I also knew I wasn't going to be like a top, top bodybuilder because I didn't appreciate posing. Like I did, I do now. Like, I'm like, when I see a person who poses amazing, well, it's fucking great. It's amazing. Like, I wish I could do that. I wish I even had the desire to do that. But to see it, I'm like, it's fucking awesome, right? It's like, but I just didn't have that in me where I wanted to do like this like flowing, like spinning, turning, like dropping down. Like, I, I don't even think I'm able to do that. I think my brain works like that. I was just like, come out, hit some big shots, hit some fucking other shots, go to one side, hit some shots. It's like, I'm big, what do you want from me? I'm just out here and I'm big, what the fuck? <laughs> but then you see like fucking dudes who have like way more muscle than I ever did. You see these fucking dudes like dropping into the splits like this, I'm like, whoa, man, what the fuck? <laughs> like that guy really likes bodybuilding. <laughs> so if I'm open here and I'm wide, my tension in my throat basically comes from me collapsing, like I said, like I'm throwing hands down, but I'm also tight in my armpit, where my armpit and my arm, that locks into my lap. So I'm throwing through that tightness back here. That's where my toss comes from. My hands and right there. So that I don't do that or roll too far back. It's like I'm stuck rigid on the back of that arm where a tricep meets lat and I'm firing. Boom, because they're locked down together, right? So I'm not flinging my arm or keeping my arm higher than my body. 
I'm trying to lock as much as I can my tricep down into my lat, which is not humanly possible, but I'm trying to feel that lockdown feeling and then throw with that lockdown feeling. If I can change my hand position and throw high and squeeze. But my throw comes from me rocking back and then tossing through that armpit and then this hand. So there's always tension here and I'm tossing. To everyone else, it looks like I'm squeezing. I'm literally throwing this thing forward and then driving my chest up. Up. So it's this feeling when I'm throwing. It's not squeezing around, right? 